The space is so vast that it is estimated that there are around 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. Our home galaxy Milky Way is just one of them. Milky Way is a hazy band of light seen in the night sky formed from the stars that cannot be individually distinguished with the naked eyes. It is so giant that if you travel from its one end to another at the speed of light, it will take 100,000 years. According to estimates, there are nearly 100 to 400 billion stars in our galaxy, Sun is just being one of them. Here in this image you can see the location of our solar system with reference to the entire galaxy. Around a couple of years ago, researchers discovered a patch of our Milky Way that is about to explode. This is the Universe Factory and this video we will discuss about this region of stars that is the part of our home galaxy. Before we begin, if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon next to it. This way you will be the first one to get notified whenever we will post content on astronomy. Additionally, you may find us on social media platforms, links to which have been mentioned in the description, be sure to check out. So let's not delay further and jump into the video to find out what is so special about this patch of stars and why the astronomers are so much excited about it. This is going to be interesting, let's do this. Astronomers had detected a bright blue bridge of stars and it is about to explode. It is an entirely new region in our Milky Way galaxy. The researchers were creating the most detailed map yet of the star flight spiral arms of our galactic neighborhood with the help of European Space Agency's Gaia telescope. That time they discovered the region filled with scorching hot bright blue stars. They have named this bridge of stars as Cepheus Spur. This region connects the arm of Orion with that of Perseus. Now generally stars are divided into 7 different classifications by Harvard classification scheme based on decreasing surface temperatures. They are O, B, A, F, G, K and M or simply remember O be a fine girl kiss me. With this logic, O-type stars have highest surface temperature with up to 40,000 Kelvin, whereas M-type stars have lowest surface temperature up to 2800 Kelvin. Our Sun is a G-type main sequence star with surface temperature around 5772 Kelvin. O and B type stars are hotter and they are so rare that in a galaxy of 400 billion stars, they are just 200,000 such stars. They are very massive and because of their high mass, they end their lives in a catastrophic supernova explosion that results in a black hole or neutron stars. Now this bridge of stars, Cepheus Spur, is full of such hot O and B type stars. The demise of these stars into supernova explosion is responsible for creating a lot of the heavy elements. Wherever we find blue stars, we find the most active and most alive regions of the galaxy according to the researchers. The researchers compiled their star map by triangulating the star's distances to Earth using technique called stellar parallax. By comparing the apparent position of the stars, observed from different perspectives during Earth's orbit around the Sun, astronomers can calculate the distances of the stars themselves. Using this technique, along with the data from the ESA's Gaia telescope, the team mapped out stars at a distance beyond any of those charted before and in areas of space previously thought to be empty. They were puzzled why this structure was missing from any of the previous sky surveys. The scientists proved that the new region was a part of spiral galactic disk comprising most of our galaxy's material. By observing them moving consistently in the same direction, they also claimed that this was not just a random alignment of stars. They also suspect that looking at the spur's position, which is slightly above the galactic disk, could provide some attractive hints about the Milky Way's past. 
it may have some connections with the milky way's past collisions with the other galaxies it may have interacted with other galaxies in the local group just like it is on the collision course with the andromeda galaxy but this is something that will need to be investigated further it would be interesting for example to carry out computer simulations of such hypothetical collisions between the galaxies the distributions of the stellar interstellar clouds and the different stellar populations resulting from the simulations could then be compared with the observations the next step for the researchers will be put additional ob stars into a more precise map which they will hope produce even more insights into our galaxy structures the discovery of cepheus spur shows that there might be some hidden regions or structures in our galactic neighborhood that have already been surveyed thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video if you got to learn something new today like this video and share it with everyone else around you and help us grow our community subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification next to it we constantly post latest news and happenings in the world of astronomy just like these suggested videos that you can watch we'll be back with yet another super interesting video for you soon till then keep looking up